welcome to tutorial session in this video you are learning angular routes and this is very important video because if you know this well properly then you won't have problem in developing any professional websites in angular so what we are going to cover in this video is how to make separate routing for admin and how to make separate routing for a user side that means how you can integrate your admin dashboard differently and how the user interface so definitely this is a practical thing that general thing that if you have already worked in projects and what happens normally we keep a separate uh, interface you know admin panel is different and home design is different so how you can do this in angular so normally uh, for a fresher anyone who is learning angular this is confusing question and not only professor not only for beginners but the for intermediate level also uh, you know this question is very important and they face this kind of problem that is why i'm trying to show you that how you can separate admin from front in angular so stay connected and you let's uh, continue to watch this so in the last video we have covered this part that when we click any one of these then we are passing the in this query string the parameter and we are fetching in another page so all is fine so this is the front section of our website so now what we are going to do we are going to work in admin section so now let's go to here and press ctrl c and let's create some component for that okay the first thing which we need to do is ng g then module admin routes actually routing here routing okay so this will create separate module for admin as well as separate routing for admin so this is very important okay so now if you press enter then you will see here it will create an admin folder here automatically and then inside this you can see this is routing uh, here and separate app module so so you can see inside app this is default app, app module and then app routing this app routing so this one is for front and now automatically it created same thing for app the admin and now let's create few components for admin say NGGC dashboard. Sorry, admin. First, I'll write here admin slash dashboard. So, inside admin folder, uh, we will create dashboard and then again NGGC, then say uh, uh, categories. Okay. For adding categories categories then uh, articles so all these are getting created inside admin folder now let's create header for admin and footer for admin as well remember these things we are creating for admin footer okay okay so now it's created now let's go inside this uh, admin module and yes so before that uh, admin module we need to go inside admin then admin routing module here okay now once again let's write here so here will be a uh, path then blank and here will be uh, a dashboard dashboard column then admin uh, dashboard dashboard yes dashboard 
so now what's wrong here dashboard dashboard does not exist oh there are syntax mistake actually path will be this and here comma and component this oh sorry yeah. it will not dashboard actually blank here will be blank then this and now once again inside this dashboard we will create here children right so path here in this case will be uh, dashboard dashboard and then here uh, children then colon this and this and this and square bracket let's press enter here okay so this is child route so that means what when we open here uh, children and of course here we what say path path uh, articles or categories categories and then this so when we will open here dashboard slash categories then here it will open uh, categories component okay similarly let's write here articles articles so when we click on articles then here articles component articles component this one but not that one actually we have articles inside articles so this one is getting loaded from no we need to load it from admin first yes from here right articles and then article component that means single dot not the first one because double dot means uh, is taking from that one the front side but we need to load it from uh, here so now let's go to and yes one more thing we need to do once you create this admin routing then we need to go here app module here and import here import import admin module from this module and we need to bind it into import section okay that's it now let's see here what else so this one is for front and here uh, now let's open it and you serve and yes for admin also let's take any navigation which is different from this one okay so suppose I want to take in this case admin option with search bar okay and with drop down so just copy it and go here and inside admin inside admin here header <coughs> then inside header here i'll just copy it and footer let's uh, keep it as it is so now in dashboard inside dashboard go inside dashboard dashboard, dashboard. where is that inside admin dashboard we will call here app header app header and app header similarly 
have put footer remember this is for admin right not for front we have separate id for footer now a footer now let's go here did it start yeah it started here let's see expected header maybe used already been closed by another tag okay so now let's check let's go here the local host refresh it okay so this one is for front so everything is working fine but as soon as we write here admin press this then uh, there is something wrong actually we have not given here admin that's why we need to give here admin rather than dashboard okay so it will be admin now if we try to open here slash admin admin and then categories then you can see it is opening here categories okay if you simply open here this then inside admin we haven't pasted here so this one is dashboard right so inside dashboard let's open here header and footer for admin what's the id oh it's app dashboard for dashboard and for header company it's app header only so it's part of that why it's not working app module dot ts this one is let's close it in inside admin when path is this then it should open here dashboard let's make it like this what happens here yeah now it's working okay because when first time uh, it detects here admin folder then this should work here and now inside admin when we write here categories categories then admin admin slash categories yeah so you can see this one is also working and same way if you just write here in categories also like here in html so just write here categories then you can see this one is working so what is difference you can see it worked perfectly and let me uh this is where it's header 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 this is header what i'm going to do just uh, bg admin okay bg admin so for this i'm going to create here in style dot css dot here dot admin bg admin then background color say brown okay now let's check here so this one is there what we have written there dot bg admin bg admin in here bg admin. okay so just i remove this this bg that's then now bg admin and you can see the background of this one is different okay so it's not looking good so rather than this let's change the color to a lighter one say this one okay now let's check here yes so guys you can see our admin and front is working perfectly now with two different yes the header of this one the front design is totally different from the admin one is totally different right so this is how you can separate your admin from front and not only this if you write here articles articles then it will also work because we have not given header footer but at least you can understand and see that admin and front is now 
different here so inside this admin section you can uh, write your you know add category or delete category whatever you want or complete the panel of the admin will be different from the front one because the design of the home page will be different and the admin section will be totally different so guys that's it in this video in the next video i will show you because as you can see in this admin section user can see this admin without logging in okay there is no any authentication so what we will do we will uh, write here login section so only the authenticated user can uh, enter into this section but the front section will be open for anyone okay so in the next video i will show you that how to authenticate this admin section in my previous video one of my previous video i have already shown that how uh, uh, this auth guard works so but in this one we will also implement and slowly we will create here categories products sorry categories then articles and all that and then after that we will so here so the idea is to create a blog here with complete feature so guys stay connected thanks for watching bye bye